All right, in this video, we're gonna set up our homepage. We're gonna help you with the basics, just trying to get started. Now listen, anytime we're dealing with a website, it can feel like an, it's a never ending project. There's always something to tweak. There's always something else we wanna move over here and do this there. But I'm gonna share with you what I think are just the basic essentials that you need. I like to follow a philosophy called story branding by Donald Miller with a little bit of twist to it. And we're going to use that and dive right in. So let's jump in. All right, I'm on the screen here. And what we're going to do is we're gonna navigate here to website. So when we come to website, this is what you're going to see when you first get started because there is no website homepage here. And you're gonna click on pick template. Now, as you look through the template, there's a lot, all these are free, lots of beautiful templates to look at and you're welcome to use any which one you would like. It's totally up to you. Just to give you the basics of story branding is that you wanna have an aspirational headline, a little bit of copy to empathize with your market or just connect with them, a clear call to action, and then maybe an image. And then right below that, some possible one, two, three success steps that you display. Now, there's more than that. We're not gonna get into all the rest of this in this video, but if you are just getting started and just need a good looking homepage, then these are the elements you're gonna have. At least these, aspirational headline, a little bit of copy, maybe some kind of a call to action, an image of some kind, and three success steps. All right, so knowing that, when I look at these, any of these will do. You can see that many of these have different versions of what I'm talking about. So it is already built towards the story branding idea. But this is the one that I think I like the best for this example. If you click on it, you'll be able to scroll and you can see it looks very similar to what I want to do. So I'm gonna click on get started. Now, if this is something that is intimidating for you to like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna pick the right one. You can always change it later. And it'll, even though you have a bunch of copy, it will remember that copy and you can change it and try different themes. So there's no harm in just picking one and starting with it because you can always switch themes later without having to redo all of the words on uh, your website. All right, so back over here to the screen you will see that uh, we now have our basic homepage. So down here below, you can see here, I can browse the templates, I can upload templates. So that's cool. If you click the little arrow here, it will load for you some different pages. Like this is a library page. This will show up once you have courses available to sell. Actually the library will be once they purchase the courses. You can have a member directory, you can do announcements, a blog that's not set up yet. So some of this stuff's not even set up yet. You do not have to have all of these pages, but I wanted you to know that there are lots of pages beyond just this home page. In fact, over here, if we click on pages, we can see here some of the default ones it gives us. There's a store, an about, blog search, announcements, contact page, home page, on and on it goes. You can delete these, you can edit all these, totally up to you. But going back here to the website, we're gonna just focus on this home page. So we're gonna click customize home. All right, now up here you can see I can toggle this what it looks like on looks like an iPad and a uh, landscape iPad portrait and then of course what it'll look like on the phone so that's really cool up here you can switch between those different pages to design them we're only going to focus primarily on this home page okay over here on the left side these are the building blocks and stacks so hero refers to this hero image if you ever want to change this, click on the three little dots, click rename, and we could call this above the fold, the fold 
social proof logos are seen here. The getting started, you can see here. So you can rename these. You can also hide these. So if I say, man, I don't really have any social proof right now, I can come over here, click on the three dots, and I can just say hide. And boom, now it's hidden. So those are some basic mechanics that you can work with on this left side over here. All right, we've got our logo up here. If we click on this, we can select our own logo. I can say recent file because I upload some of mine. And let's see what this would look like. Boom, there's my thrifty reseller hub. I've obviously got an image I need to change here. So anything that you click on, if I hover over this and I click on it, it's going to change it over here on this side. So this is my above the fold side. Let me move myself out of the way. If we come over here, click on background. You can see it's based off image. If I don't want an image, I can say none, and it's going to, I believe, just make it a color. And so you can just do a color if you want, if you don't want to worry about an image right now. You can also do a kind of a video in the background. And here is our image. Background image positions on the top center right here. Background image, if you hover over this, it'll tell you this is a 2880 by 1200. So let's just try to find something for now. I may choose something later, but you can use Canva or Get Stencil. I tend to go back and forth. But if I come over here, we're going to click on, let's see if we have a 2880 by 1200 right here. And then I'm going to come over here to photos and let's type in eBay. Let's see what we get. So not a whole lot of options here. Could go with that. What if I go with thrifting? Focused on clothes though. That one's kind of cool. Maybe we can go with that for now. Now, one thing that you, I'll show you that in a second because you can actually do a, about to do in a second. So I'm gonna just do this for now. I'm gonna download this one just for the purposes of our exercise here. So again, Canva, getstencil.com, any of these will have royalty free images that you can use. Or you can go do your own photo shoot if you want to highlight it as a personal brand. All right, coming back over here. Now we're going to select our image. We're gonna upload a new file. Actually just gonna drag and drop this. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Try that again. Keeps wanting to do it that way. Let's see. Let's see if I do this again. Okay, so I've got it here. I'm gonna click on save, upload. Now, boom. Now, immediately you can see I can't see the white lettering as well as I'd want. So um, what you can do is if you scroll down here to background color and you click on this, you can adjust this, and it's small, but this little slider here. Isn't that cool? I could get this exactly where I want it to be, where the words stand out just right. All right, so the next part of our, our kind of story branding is to have an aspirational headline. So we're gonna click on this section, and this is where our aspirational headline is going to go, right in here. We need to use this. You can see I can type in it. I know it's hard to see because it's white on white background. But one of the things that I did is I used old chat GPT and I came up with some a little bit of, of ideas ahead of time. Keep this video short. So I'm going to go with from thrift to profit, unlock the secrets of eBay profits. So we have an aspirational headline. Let's come over here. Let's throw this in here. Clean this up just a little bit. From thrift to profit unlock the secrets of eBay profits. Okay, now you can see down here we can have some more wording. In this wording, I want it to be this right here because I've got a lead magnet. I'm not gonna set up the entire lead magnet on this video, but I'm gonna give you the first steps on the homepage of what to do here. So we'll come here, throw this in here. Ready to unlock the treasure chest of eBay reselling. Get your hands on an exclusive guide. Maybe I will, let's cut this down just a little bit. 
on the copy, make it a little bit better. And let me show you one other thing. So if you say this is squashed a little bit because the other image had a person that was over here on this side. Since we don't have that, we can increase that. The way we do that is if you can click on what it is you're working on that box, we go up here to the top, you can see I can extend this. What would it look like at eight columns? What would it look like at nine? I like that. You can save it. You can also hit this little arrow right here to get an idea of what it looks like. And you can see it's sitting low a little bit here. So how can we move that up? So let's come back over here. And if we scroll down here, let's see if we go down into desktop layout, we can try a few different things here. So let's, one simple, there's about four different ways that you can do what I'm about to do. But just to show you, if you come in here to this outside spacing, if we go negative 200, you can see it really popped that up, right? So maybe that's too far, let's do negative 100. Now always, is another little pro tip with Kajabi, it's a little squashed, but it may not be the problem because I've got my, my scenario squash because I've got this sidebar. So if I click on this, yeah, it still needs to come down a little bit, right? So let's say 80, let's go 70, let's go back to 100. And I just want to verify if I click on preview. Yeah, so see, you always do want to make sure you go hit preview. Now I am working on a computer screen that's really long, but, but yeah, this still needs to come up a little bit. So I would say, let's go, let's see what this looks like. So that looks pretty good. Obviously there's more that I could do with this um, homepage, but you can change the coloring. So let's say I like to get started, but if I click on this, and if I click on this button here, I've got this call to action here. Let's say I wanna change that, the background button color text. Now I put in my own brand colors. I know it's small down here, but these top five are my brand colors. So if I click on this one, and I click on save. Now you can see I've got this get started, right? Now I can decide, do I want this to be an outline? can't really see it. I want to make it solid. I want to make this button larger. I can do that. And you can put a border radius to it. So if I go 20, you see it softened up those edges, which is cool too. So click save. Now, where would you like to start? I can come down here and I could change all these logos and I could do my one, two, three. I want to keep these in this video where it's not too long, but if I were to do something like this, I would say, discover the potential. I always try to pop it in the middle just to make sure it keeps the same size font and everything, right? So if I go like, step one, discover the potential. And grab the rest of this text. Step two, I'll worry about changing these icons later, or you can just actually get rid of them if I click on this. Okay, if we go back to where it shows the image, you can just get rid of it. You can say no image. I won't worry about that right now. All right, so let's go back over here. The next one was master of the trade and grab the rest of that one. And the last one, Profit with every sale. And again, I may update these later, but I'm, again, I'm just getting something up. And I wanna say step three. I'm gonna go back and put step two on that in just a second. Come back here, let's do step two. Now let's say I don't like these buttons. If you come down here to call to action, I can uncheck that and boom, it's gone. Because these are not meant to be calls to action, boom, it's gone. So 
the three steps to eBay success. Boom. If I didn't like this color, I can highlight get started and I can go into the text color here. And it's still got my brand colors. I know it's small, but I could go with something like this. And the brand colors. Save. Okay, let's take a quick preview. You are in preview mode, and this is how it's shaping up. Looking pretty good, isn't it? A home page. It looks awesome. Got the little logo going, got an aspirational headline. I get started again we'll have to set this up I've got a separate video for that and some basics here now obviously there's more I could do here I could hide all of these things right now if I don't want to mess with it right now I don't want them to be here I can come in here and I can say hide 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 it does not delete it I can always have it show again Hide, and then click save, and then go back to preview, and there it is. That's my home page. If I don't like this background, I could change the color of the background. So let's just play with that for a quick second. If you click on it, come down here to background, and we can do another image, something like that. But if you come all the way down here to background color, We've got our brand color, so we've got a little light color we could throw in there. Looks okay. Maybe not the best, but I think it looks okay for now. Now I'll come back over here. Boom. Boom. There you go. So as you can see, this video is like 15. We're sitting at oh, 20 minutes. Now I explained a lot of it while I was doing it, but in 15, 20 minutes, you can be live with a nice looking home page that you don't have to pay a designer for and it's absolutely something you can do so that's it for this video let's hop over to the next one